Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, we're gonna be making these, I, I, I'm not 100% sure what you would call them. Coffee cup cozies, um, co to go coffee cup sleeves. I don't, I, <laughs> my girls seen these and asked if I would design some for them. And I said, sure, and then I designed a bunch and went through all my buttons and found some cute buttons and then, you know, just then decided, you know, so they don't all have to have buttons, so. I made a few that don't have buttons, but you can go through all kinds of uh, scrap yarn. That's actually what I used for all of these was just scrap yarn I had in my scrap yarn, um, my scrap yarn little tote. It, it, it doesn't take much at all, but they're super easy to make and they're just cute to add to your little coffee cups. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about what you're going to need. So you can use any yarn you want. And any hook you want, as long as your piece comes out to measure nine, nine inches long, then like eight and um, a quarter high. So, or not eight and a quarter high, I'm sorry. I don't know why I just said that. About two inches, so to be like this, two inches high, and then eight or uh, nine inches long. So your piece is going to be nine inches long by two inches high. So like for instance, this is actually a five weight yarn and this is a four weight yarn. This one I used a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook on and this one I used a five millimeter crochet hook on and I just uh, chained until my chain was nine inches long worked my rows up until I got to two inches thick or if you want to go thicker, that's fine. And uh, then I just finished the pattern off and it's super easy. So what I did for most of these, this is the only one I used the five weight on, but what I did, like I said, I used a four weight yarn with a five, uh, five, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I just used some scrap four weight yarn and a pair of scissors. And then you're gonna need a yarn needle to weave in your end. And then if you're gonna add a button, however you're gonna add it, I mean, um, you can sew it on. Like this one I had to glue on because the back of that button was broken. Um, there was another one. Oh yeah, this one. I didn't even get to show this one. I made a little Christmas one. And when I got my butt now, I looked and noticed that I couldn't sew it on because the center of it was cracked. So I just glued that one down. I forgot to put this one in the picture. Dang it. Okay, so uh, get your supplies together. And like I said, if you're going to sew the the uh, button on, then get you some needle and thread. Or you can use embroidery floss and thread. Just make sure your needle goes through the eye of your button. Okay? And that's it. I mean, these coffee cups. Now, these four right here, I uh, Walmart sells a pack of them. And I, I bought them to use on in the tutorial. And then I realized I wanted some bigger ones too. So I had my daughter stop at a gas station after she got out of school and she picked me up some empty coffee cups. <laughs> but anyway, and it's just that it, that easy. Okay. So get your supplies together and let's get started. All right. To get started, we are going to get a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to chain 40. Now I'm not going to make you guys watch me chain 40. So I'm going to get that done real quick and I'll come right back. Okay, so I have my chain of 40 done. And now what I want to talk to you guys about, if you are using a different yarn, a thicker yarn, a thinner yarn, what have you, your chain needs to measure... So my, the zero line is right on that slip knot, nine inches. All right. So regardless of what yarn you're using, what, um, what hook you're using with that yarn, as long as you got nine inches, just, and I'm not stretching it like that, you know, I'm just setting it down, laying it straight and measuring. And I got nine inches and that's exactly what I needed. That's what I've gotten for the, um, all of my other ones that I've made. All right. So we can get started for row one. We are going to single crochet into that second chain from our hook. 
So right into there, we're gonna work a single. And now we're just gonna single into each chain all the way across. So it's nothing special. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this done off camera and I will be right back. Okay, I am coming to the end. I've got three little chains to work into. One, two, and three. All right, that's the end of row one. So row two, we are going to chain one and turn. And for row two to 10 or 11, depending how thick you want yours, we're gonna repeat this exact same, uh, exact same pattern, okay? We are going to back loop, single crochet into each single all the way across. So all I do is I rotate my work till it's pointing at me. This little bitty thing right there, that's my chain one, so I know that I ain't working into that. Right here is my first single, and I'm just gonna go between both loops and work around that, the back one. So I'm gonna go right in with a single, just like that, into the next, and just back loop, single crochet. Oops, that was not right. <laughs> back loop, single crochet, all the way down. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way to the end and I'll meet you down here, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm coming to the end and if I hold my piece out, you can see I have one, two, three single crochet left. So I'm gonna go right into those back loops my last one, and that is the end of row two. So we're just gonna repeat that over again. Chain one and turn, back loop single crochet. So this is row three. So we are gonna repeat row two for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you want it to be thicker, let me get, if you want it to be thicker, then just, you know, go more than 10, but I'm going to go 10 and I will be right back. So I'm going to finish row three all the way to 10 and I will come back when I uh, work the second to last single crochet for row 10. Okay. I'll be right back. Alrighty. So I'm coming to the end of row 10. So I'm just going to work these last few stitches. Just like that. And now, so if you're using a different yarn or you know, you're trying to stick with what the size I have, my piece, oh, I'm pulling on. <laughs> so this is my little tape measure and I was, his tail is the part that comes out and I was pulling on his, his uh, fins trying to get that to come out. I was like, why isn't this working? Okay, anyway, so it measures right on the edge. Can you see that? Almost eight and three quarters. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is chain one and pull up a long loop because we're going to use this tail to sew it shut and cut, pull out that tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread this because if you don't do it now, you have to do it while you're holding the piece with one hand and it's a little tough. All right, so with our little cozy set and like, you know, laying flat, we're gonna take this side and grab it like this and take this side and grab it like that. Just like this, you see it? And we're gonna bring it together like this, making sure that that tail you just threaded onto that needle is on the outside, not in the sandwich part. 
So you want it to lay just like that. And now we are going to go into the same piece that the tail is coming from through each layer. So you're gonna to have to make sure you catch that middle layer every time we're gonna that we sew it back and forth. Now I wanna make sure I catch the middle layers in there. There. So now try to try to get it to where your two ends come out right next to each other. And all we're gonna do, so I'm gonna trim those down a little bit. All I'm gonna do is tie them in a knot. Just like that. And now I'm gonna take these ends, I'm gonna weave them in, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do both of them at once. I'm just gonna go in and out some a few stitches. And then turn around and go back. And then cut. All right, now I'm gonna take this and flip it inside out. And you should have a piece that looks like this. So now you can sew a button here, like I have on this one or you can just leave it the way it is. And that's it. <laughs> Super simple, right? I told you guys this is gonna be a short, sweet little tutorial. But the I love these things, I think they're adorable. And you can get so creative with the buttons you add, like with the picture I showed you at the beginning with all my other ones. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what's next from me. And then let me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Which one was your favorite? I would have to say probably the dark gray one with that brown button is my favorite. Or this one. I really like this one too. Which one was your guys' favorite? <laughs> All right. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.